But what about those Bernie Sanders supporters, the diehard supporters? Will they follow his recommendation? Will they vote for Hillary Clinton? My colleague, Lena Milberg, has been working on that story tonight, and she has it now. Lena. Michael, thanks. Some will, some it'll be a little tougher. Remember, this is the candidate who spent so much time roiling his supporters to fight the system and now is trying to tell them to work within it. And we found today that is going to be a tough sell to a lot of people. There's the Florida delegation, a majority of it Clinton supporters, not Miami lawyer Bruce Jacobs. What Bernie's doing is masterful because what he's saying to the world is we should all support Hillary, but I'm not giving up the revolution. Sanders' plea for unity among Democrats did not move thousands of Bernie or Bust backers who rallied at Philadelphia's historic City Hall. $15 an hour, the Medicare for all. I'm here to raise awareness about the corruption in the DNC. There is a move to sign up delegates to force a roll call vote instead of handing the nomination to Hillary Clinton. All right, everybody now, settle down. Sanders supporters take credit, too, for forcing Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign as DNC chair and sense to confirm through WikiLeaked emails that she and the party stack the deck against Sanders. And the South Florida Clinton delegates? It's not good for the party. It's not good for them. It's not good for the country. The big picture is I don't want the Republican Party uh, appointing Supreme Court justices. We are an open party. And sometimes it looks messy, but it's healthy. It's a great, it was a great campaign, and I think we'll, you'll see us come out of here very united. You know, there's a new Wall Street Journal poll out that indicates three out of four people who support Bernie Sanders will support Hillary Clinton. But judging from the protests that we saw today and the reaction here in the center tonight, that seems like a pretty high number. We'll see. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Philadelphia tonight, Local 10 News. Okay, Glenna, thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. The Democratic Convention is all this week in Philadelphia. We'll have live coverage from Glenna and Michael right here on Local 10 and on Local10.com.